On this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to make a rotation tessellation step by step. We will be doing this on GeoGebra, so I will teach you how to start that up. Also, we'll cover some basics of GeoGebra, tessellations and rotations, what tessellations and rotations are, and lastly, have some fun. Our first step is to open GeoGebra. If you don't have it downloaded, then go to this URL and click on your software. After it is downloaded, click on your start menu, all programs, find GeoGebra 4.4, and click on the one that looks like this and says GeoGebra. Now that you have GeoGebra open, we are going to review or maybe even give out some knowledge. For our project, we will have to know what a rotation and a tessellation is. First, a rotation is a transformation that turns a figure about a fixed point. It is sometimes known as a turn. The fixed point around which a figure is rotated is called a center of rotation, which is shown in the image below. Now a tessellation is a tiling of a plane using one or more geometric shapes with no overlapping and no gaps. But for this project, we need a hexatessellation. What's a hexatessellation? In mathematics, there are only three regular tessellations. Triangles, squares, and hexagons. So a hexatessellation? A hexatessellation is pretty much a tessellation of regular hexagons fitting together. But for this project, we'll make them curvy, oddly shaped, or maybe petite. To start off, we will need to make an equilateral triangle. To make one, we will be using the regular polygon tool. To get to that, click on the drop down arrow on the polygon tool, then click on the regular polygon tool. Now, once you have your regular polygon tool selected, act like you're drawing a segment kind of like this. Then once this window shows up, type 3 in it, then click the OK button. Now you have an equilateral triangle. Also, try to make it so it looks completely horizontal on the bottom like this. Now we begin our design. To start this, we will be making a midpoint on the horizontal segment with the midpoint or center tool. To find that, click on the drop down arrow of the point tool. Your triangle should now look like this. After you got the midpoint, it's time to make a funky design. For the purpose for this demonstration, I made the triangle have points A, B, and C, with the midpoint of D. We will be using the pen tool, which is found from the drop down arrow, arrow of the text tool. Once we have the pen tool selected, it's time to draw a squiggly of however you want from point A to D like so. After we make our squiggly, use the reflect about point tool, which is found under reflect about line, and we will click on the squiggly, then click on point D. It should now look like this. Now that we made a reflection on the bottom, it is time to make the sides with a rotation. We will still be using the pen, the pen tool. Draw a squiggly however you want from point A to C, like this, but in any way you want. So now we have one side. We need the other. So let's rotate it. To do so, we will use the rotate around point tool which is found in the drop down arrow of reflect about line. Once you have the right tool selected, click on the squiggly you just made, then click on point C. When you do this right, this dialog box should pop up. When it does, type in 60 degrees and make sure it is counterclockwise. It should look exactly like this. If it does, click the OK button. Your shape should now look similar to this. Now that we made the squigglies, it's time to make the squiggly a shape. To do this, we will be using paint. To open paint, go to the start menu, all programs, accessories, then paint. To get our shape onto paint, we'll use the snipping tool found in accessories as well. Go to your shape, click on the snipping tool, and highlight the area of your shape like this. In paint, we will use the fill in tool in paint and use the color white. If you set the color white as color 1, you will left click the middle of the triangle. Color 2, you will right click. 
Once you do that, it should look like this. After that, you will use the eraser tool to erase all the red outline, and it should now look like this. Now, let's get designing. To do this, you use your imagination to figure out what your shape is. To me, my shape looks kind of like a tree, so I use paint, and I made a Christmas tree. Of course, you can do whatever you want to it. To create our tessellation, we will be using the program Smart Notebook 11. You will need to download this most likely, so I left the website URL right there. Once you download it, you are ready to rotate, therefore make the tessellation. Before you go into Smart Notebook, make sure you copy your shape with Control C. What you're going to want to do is copy, copy and paste your shape a lot. To do that, highlight your shape in Smart, smart Notebook like this. After that, right click and click Set Image Transparency. Then this should show up. Click on, the white outs click on the white outside the shape so it ends up like this. Once it looks like that, click OK the OK button. Right after you click the OK button, press Ctrl C on your keyboard. Now we can paste our shape all we want with no troubles. To make another shape, all you have to do is push Ctrl V on your keyboard. Once you do that, you have to manually use the rotator thingy located right there. To move your shape, all you have to do is click and drag. If you need to, you can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard for a more precise aim. My first rotation was 180 degrees, degrees and it turned out like this. To finish up your tessellation, keep rotating the shapes you paste into notebook and try to make a hexagon. If my design looks a bit different, it is because I erased too many edges and they kept rotating with white spaces, so I had to redo my design. Remember, tessellations don't have white spaces, but after you have your hexagon, highlight it, then push Ctrl C and keep on pasting. When you're done, you should have a rotation tessellation or now a hexatessellation as well. Thank you for watching my video on how to make a rotation tessellation.